What's going on YouTube? This is Dre the Plug coming at you guys with another video. And this one specifically, I'm just gonna explain my whole entire experience of senior designs. Just give you guys like some advice, show you guys the actual video that we ended up making for the final product to present to different faculty and staff and random people that just showed up to the school and wanted to see the product. So overall, my best advice that I would tell people going into senior design, just so people know, They'll have like electrical, they'll have computer, and they'll have computer science. Pretty much, they're always in like the same realm when it comes to senior design. Then they'll have mechanical, and pretty much all the other type of engineers pretty much like separate to do their own thing. But specifically, all of the tech majors, they like come together and they'll break them off into different groups and they have to basically come up with a project or come up with a way to basically solve a problem as a project and that's pretty much what you have to do over a course of a whole year like your senior year and basically make a product or make some type of item that can solve a problem so the best advice like i would give to people is a you should definitely have like somebody who's nice with computers somebody who knows how to code someone who's good at like hardware or like wiring in general when it comes down to electricity or just even how to operate like a microcontroller. So like basically those main concepts, if you can knock those out easily, senior design will pretty much just be a cakewalk. So definitely look into those. Those are like the main things that you need to focus on. When it comes down to like getting your items, the stuff you need to buy for your senior design project, like you, are, you should already have that stuff ready and uh, trying to get them to you as fast as possible because when i tell you like senior design go by so fast and before you know it it'll be time for you to present your project like it's so quick and over a course the stuff getting ordered and when it comes down to everybody ordering it like sometimes take time and you never really know once you hit that uh confirm button or when it comes down to actually ordering parts you don't know when it's actually going to be here nobody really knows until it gets here so it's like Definitely try to have all your parts like in your mind of exactly what you want or even get some parts that you may not even use just in case something don't work. That's like one of the other advices that I'll throw out there for people that like do senior design. Like definitely look into getting as many parts as you will need beforehand instead of having to wait and try to do everything piece by piece by piece by piece. Just try to get all of the stuff that you need right away. That way you don't have to wait on anything. Cause waiting is horrible because then you could end up waiting on a part that you'll basically never even use or you could end up using it and realizing it wouldn't even work for your particular type of project. So if you just have everything or try to get everything all at once, you'll be perfectly fine. So that's another advice that I'll throw out there to people when it comes down to like seeing design stuff. Like another thing I'll also throw out is definitely try to meet up with your group like regularly. I'll say like maybe like two times a week yeah, that's pretty much that's more than enough time but definitely try to link up with everybody and just stay up to date on each individual part like if this person have this section ask them when they're gonna do the next part if this person got their own little coding section or hardware section or wiring thing that they're gonna do like try to ask them so when will you have it done and when will basically you'll be moving on to the next part because you wouldn't want somebody basically stuck somewhere and then pretty much you have a problem and you have to wait and wait and wait and in most cases it won't get done and you'll just have to come up with a whole another way of how to do it and it's best for a group to make that type of decision so that's another thing that i wanted to point out so jumping into our project it was called the sensible motion cane so basically it had three sensors on there right so it had one that was at the very top and it could pretty much detect anything that was pretty much overhead and can basically detect if something was going to be in the way and possibly having the, the user bump into anything that was above them like a tree branch or anything that's just in the way and within a certain amount of range that was like higher than the cane and a little bit like around the same height as the user so that was the first sensor it was the first one that was pretty much pointing straight up the second one it pretty much pointed straight this was the one that pretty much gave off the most notification so it will basically uh, sense straight ahead within a certain amount of range and every single time that somebody got in the way or somebody was just would just walk across it it'll just go off and basically vibrate the actual cane and it'll also make a ringing noise to basically let the person ahead of them know like 
you need to move out of the way. And then once you move out of the way, the sound will stop and so will the notification on the handle. Then like the bottom one, I pretty much made like this code to where it will be able to uh, basically give you a notification and it'll tell you exactly when to go upstairs or like when to go downstairs based on like the change of elevation. So that was like the third sensor. So the first one, detect anything that's overhead. The straight one, you can pretty much detect anything at a far out distance, which was the most common one. And then the one pointing down, it basically determines whether or not you had stairs going down or you had stairs going up. So here's the video. Let me know what y'all think and I'm out. Slide to the airbag door step up. Slide to the airbag door step up. To step down. Prepare to step down. Prepare to step down. Slide to the airbag door step up.